Allow me to greet all of you a wonderful day. If you've been watching the USS Enterprise build series since last year, this video will be the conclusion. This is my first ship build and or aircraft carrier build for that matter. A dream come true for me? You see, when I was about 12 years old, I saw this model in an exhibit and boy, I was hooked. I even wanted to be a fighter pilot at some point. <laughs> This to me a kit is an old kit, and I would agree that there are some needed aftermarkets and scratch building for it to be decent. But hey, no complaints on my part. I invested in an aftermarket photo edge detail from Edwards and you can see the stark difference in terms of size and details. photo edge details, you need to cut out some parts off of the kit. Since I was going for the 2000 look, I had to remove some photo edge I originally placed and scratch build the latest structure. For the modern looking extra structure which I call naval tectones, I used the beads of a cheap fancy jewelry. Coupled with the stru smoothie straw, I cut glued and styrene to shape it. Sprayed primer gray and then painted with acrylic. I use toothpicks here to paint the white dots. Not perfect, but it's good for me. I opted to show one lowered elevator platform with air aircrafts on it to show visual interest. As you can see here, I'm not going to glue the island to the upper deck. I stored this after the previous build I did last year. I'm now excitedly joining the megastructure with the main body of the carrier.
what better way to do justice to a model kit and to the prying eyes of naval servicemen both active and retired than to give the 1350 aircraft some semblance of realism by giving it the CAG Squadron real units. Again, I wanted to represent the early to mid 2000s. Now, these squadrons may not have served together at once in a particular operation, but I guarantee you, these squadrons were assigned to the USS Enterprise at one time. So, these tiny aircrafts have to look the way they were. So, I added elements like styrene add-ons and the tail art and symbols, and lastly, the gold gate libraries and uh, color schemes. I'm glad I'm able to print these specific squadron tail arts as decal to achieve the desired appearance. So here are five simple steps to printing your 1 over 350 decals. Mind you, inkjets are a bit fuzzy and does not deliver the quality prints in small scale. One has to be careful when printing because this gets lost during application. As you see here, I cut styrene plastic to shape for the F-18 flaps and landing gear covers. I covered the clear plastic canopy with masking sole prior to painting. This is to save the glass-like appearance once mask is moved. 